Here it comes! Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Okay, Aloy. Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend. Erend, I'm here. My job. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. Uh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. Aloy, 
she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it. Maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. with something called I have to get the weapon fragment to Gaia first and check on the clone door won't open guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet Gaia what was this room for this was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives I have repurposed the displays to track Regal's activity in the region Aloy, glad you made it back. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? 
What did the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well... See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Eleuthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub...
Functions to get. Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing, it's a lot, even for you. Just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. We saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia? Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. So, training with Zoe, huh? Yes, training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory, and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called 
control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Useful for making dyes.
From where Arnav said I'd find his crew. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. That looks like the foreman Arnav mentioned. I should check in with him. You good? I... I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Arnav sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. <sighs> Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. Some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. I need to know exactly what happened. We used control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Gotta find those two miners, quick. Okay. Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. 
Should still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving here. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing the mine down on top of me. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives upon that track, maybe I can blast with the blockage.
I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. explosives. There's the explosives, up on the track. Just need to get across, somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. I don't think it'll connect.
think I can pull that. attention. Let's go check on those miners. She's so dead. We don't know that. Huh? You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Better let Corvin know his name, all right. Found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. That's a good thing Ulvan's been kicked out of Chain Scrape then. Ulvan's gone? We were so busy working in the mines and then, and then the explosion we never heard. Something we can celebrate after I get my crew back to Chain Scrape. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Shadow stretching. Almost sunset.
Skotalo. If you're in need of provisions, I recommend stopping by Salt Bite, a village north of the Grove. Their cook's meals give a soldier strength like nothing else. And who knows? Maybe they could use your help, too. Maybe I'll check it out. Thanks. for every purpose. You. About time he went crawling back to me. whatever damn hole he Hmm. Here, yeah, you're the rowdy spark we should be thanking for kicking Olvind out of the forge. Petra mentioned you were trouble, and trouble's always welcome at my shop. Take a look. Won't find weapons like these anywhere in the dark. Guaranteed. See you when I see you, Red. Maybe this guy will fix my lucky hammer by then. Maybe it'll stop breaking, too. With open gone, there'll be less trouble all the way.
You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Dame's Oder, this here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. I also offered challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dull blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will pay close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. That energy doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. Okay, just try again. That's all for now. Let me know when you want to... 